kitchen by Anderson Plumbing, Heating, and Air. Nobody wows clients like we do. ABC 10 News meteorologist Angelica Campos is joining us with a look at the forecast. Definitely a lot drier this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yes. If you remember last weekend, it was Sunday when we had just kind of the beginning of the storm and eventually brought snow to our mountains, but we also had a small craft advisory for coastal areas. We're doing much better as we head into this weekend. And for all of you who have been messaging me and telling me you're ready for San Diego weather, gets wet. It is coming. There's still snow on the ground in the in the Mount Laguna area. This from the Laguna Mountain Lodge Sky Cam, but it's going to be melting away probably through the weekend and early next week. In San Diego, just high clouds, 63 degrees. We started with clouds, then it cleared really nicely. The reason Santa Ana winds and temperatures are also warming up. 67 in Escondido, 61 in Ramona, and 59 degrees in La Jolla. So the numbers are looking better, but we're going to see the return of clouds night into tomorrow. That's going to bring temperatures down just a few degrees. What are those St. Anna winds doing right now? Averaging between 20 25 miles per hour. You can see the winds extend all the way down into some of our valleys, but for the coast, it is a nice light onshore flow. So what can we expect as we go into tonight? Very similar conditions. Those winds will continue ranging from 20 25 miles per hour. Then we go into tomorrow and the winds will be dying down. Our headlines St. Anna winds tonight, then tomorrow much better. Clouds will be increased and that's going to drop the numbers down just a couple of degrees. Next week will be in a warming trend and that's going to take us right into the holiday weekend. So for those of you traveling, be ready. It is going to look very different along our coastline, but also across the East Coast. And the difference is going to be basically stormy weather versus sunny, warm weather for the overnight dropping to the 40s looking good. Clouds increase overnight into tomorrow. We're going to keep it mostly cloudy. There's going to be a little disturbance coming through, which will bring those clouds as we go into tomorrow and then on Sunday, warmer weather. High pressure will start developing next week, but it's also going to be one of the key features as very cold air will start impacting much of the northern tier of the country and then eventually it'll be working its way along the east coast. That's going to lead to potentially problems for anyone traveling up and down the I-95 corridor. And uh, for those of you traveling, flying especially, you want to keep an eye on that. It is going to get very cold in the east coast. Well, we get ready for our warm up 65 degrees by Wednesday, which is also the first day of winter. Winter solstice will be happening Wednesday. I know a lot of you are probably thinking it already felt like winter so far. December. That's right. I think December was the unofficial start from the first was the unofficial start of winter. But as we go into next week, it is going to be very different. Expecting the sun to shine, temperatures to heat up upper 50s, even close to 60 in the mountains. In the meantime, still in the 40s for tomorrow, starting off the weekend with those temperatures dropping a couple of degrees and then adding them back on on Sunday next week on, in the deserts rather 70 degrees by Tuesday. But towards the end of the week, look at that. Our first 80 in the deserts. What probably the entire month so far, Lindsay. That's that San Diego weather you mm -hmm. promised. All it right. is back. Thanks.